All right, what up? So check this out. I just want to make a quick video on how I'm painting these mirrors because when I posted up the pictures of the first one I did, I had got quite a few people in my DMs asking me, oh, what I use, how I did it, what was the steps? Like I had a, a few people hit me up, like wanting to know the process. So this time around, I'm doing the second mirror. I just thought I'd make like a real fast video just to show y'all the steps on what I use so that, you know, if y'all trying to do something yourselves, y'all can do it yourselves. I'm by no means a professional painter. It's just that, just to save a little bit of money and also, you know, my painter that I, that I rock with, you know, he's currently got the shop closed. So I'm trying to get these done, but yeah. Obviously, you know, this, these was red. Um, so far, I sanded them down and I primed them white. Um, to start, when they're red, if you saw the videos, I sanded them. I used, I personally used 600. I went through the whole thing, sanded them down with 600. After I, I finished and all the clear was off of it with the 600, I went back over it with a 1500, a 1500 brick. You can use the, um, the sandpaper, whatever. Um, I was even suggest just use a thousand. It's just that I couldn't find a thousand at the time, so I used fifteen hundred. So then, right now, I primed it. I let the primer dry up, and I'm going over the, the primer with the six hundred real quick. I'm not putting no force in there. I'm just just sliding it along top. I'm not putting no pressure down on it. I'm just sliding it across top lightly and let the sandpaper do the work. Once I do that, then I'm going over the same thing. Just gently with the 15 just let let the sandpaper do the work i'm not putting no pressure on this because i don't want to i don't want to end up sanding it too much where i strip this primer off then once you're done once you're done once you've done that both this i'm gonna go rinse it off i'm gonna clean it off to get all the any grease any whatever off of there the, the residue from the from the paint i just I'm, i just sanded i'm gonna rinse that all off and then i'm gonna let it dry all right, so both of them have been sanded down. The prime, the prime is sanded. I rinsed them off. I put them up to hang. Um, you know, when you're painting something, when you paint pieces like these, you know, you you your best bet is to get them hung up, let them hang, so that you can be able to spray them for all, from all angles. Uh, you know, sometimes that's not that's not an available option. But you know, if you're able to get them to hang up, hang them up to paint them. Uh, yeah, so they're all rinsed off. They're hanging right now. I'm going to let them dry. You want to let them dry really well. You don't want them to be wet at all because then, you know, spots that are wet, obviously the paint's not going to stick to that. You're going, It's going to mess it up. So I'm just let these dry for like however long it takes, maybe 45 minutes, an hour, let them dry real well, and then I'll come back and I'll paint them. <clears throat> all right, so I'm going to start to paint the base here. I got the paint I'm using. I'm using a spray can. Obviously, you guys, I'm using this dupla color perfect match. It's the um, it's the match to to my SI same color code and everything. You guys, you know, use whatever you guys are using. Um, best way is you just want to get light coats on there at first. Problem I see with. A lot of people when they trying to you know do stuff at home is that they trying to get full coverage in one spray yeah so you can't expect full coverage on one spray like this takes time if you do if you're not willing to take the time to do it the right way then don't bother because it won't come out good um, so you want to do like three to four light coats like this until you reach the coverage that you're looking for then after that you'll do like i would do like a, a, a medium heavy coat and then a heavy coat to to cover everything but i'll go over it as i as i get there Alright, 
I'm going to go over it a second time. Again, the, the job is not to try to get full coverage off of just shooting at one time. You need multiple coats in order to get the proper coverage. All right, this is my coverage so far after three, I mean four, about four fairly light coats. Um, obviously the base is gonna cover a lot easier than than uh, the mirror cover itself. Um, but this is after four light coats. I'm gonna start to apply uh, a medium coat which basically just means that I'm gonna put the, the spray can a little bit closer to it. And then also I'm probably gonna do a heavier coat, which means that, you know, I'll get a little bit closer. A heavier coat would make it look, make the paint look more wet as I'm applying it. All right, this is where I'm at guys. Um, so I put one medium coat on here. I'm gonna do one more coat, one more heavy coat. And then after that last heavy coat, I'll let it dry. It's gonna be my heavy coat, my last coat. You wanna get real close on it. But also, you want to have control, because if not, you stay in one spot for too long, it's going to start to run on you. You're going to have drips and stuff, and then you got to start all over. So they're all painted up. Um, they've been drying for a little bit, about like 30 minutes. This one, you know, like I said, being outside and today was a little bit windy. This one has a little bit of tiger striping. So I'm gonna have to sand, wet sand it a little bit before I clear it. I'm gonna wait a little bit longer for it to dry and then I'll sand it and then get ready. To uh, clear it. Um, I didn't get to record it, so I'll just show you real quick. It's very simple. When you wet sand it, you're doing it the same way you did the the primer. I'm just going with the 1500. Again, like don't apply no pressure. Just run it across. Just run it across, and um, let the sandpaper do the work. Again. No pressure, I'm just laying it on there and letting the sandpaper do the work. You don't wanna be too rough and then scratch the paint off or sand the paint off and then you gotta start all over again. So yeah, I'm gonna clean these up, wash them off. Uh, I'm gonna rinse them off, wash them off, and then let them dry and then I'll clear coat it. All right, so getting ready to apply some clear to these i'm gonna break it down real quick i'm probably gonna end up doing maybe about five coats i'm gonna do three light coats and then one medium coat and then another like heavy coat on top to really lay the clear in there so i'm not gonna you know be describing every step while i do it i'm telling you what i'm gonna do right now and then i'm gonna go ahead and do it and then show you what it looks like
That's one coat. All right, so these are all done. <clears throat> I was gonna put one more coat of clear, but it doesn't need it. Just gotta let it sit and dry really good. At least a few hours before I start putting them together. I'll probably let them dry for like two hours or so <clears throat> before I start putting them back together. And then, that's it, these are actually the way I did these, it came out a little glossier than the first ones. So I might consider taking the first ones off and just adding like an extra coat of clear to try to get the, the both clears to match. But yeah, that's it. And then let them dry really well. It's the main thing, let it dry really well before you start doing stuff to them. Um, if you want also, you can bake them. You can put them in the oven for like 200 degrees for like 30 minutes or so. No, not even, I would say maybe like 15 to 20 minutes. Um, and then if you wanted to like wet sand them and polish them, you can do that. I am probably won't do that, but if you can do that, you would just have to let it dry for like two days, two or three days. And before you, you know, start to buff and polish and do all that stuff. <clears throat> 